So here we're at the cable house uh, facing Paracava where that patrol happened on uh, January 4th, 1945 and uh, this is the area where Colonel Ford and uh, Aristides Caras were both killed. I'm not sure exactly where it is but it's somewhere within a few meters of where we're standing and today I'm also with uh, Colonel Ford's grandson uh, Michael Cummings uh, who came here and who brought a silver dollar with him as well as his uh, grandfather Aristides was also carrying on the day that they were killed and then the Germans found that with one of their bodies so I don't know Michael if you want to say how you feel being here or whatever I have heard stories since I was a child about my grandfather and about what happened to him and there was always a lot of confusion about that and we've come to a point that jean Loup here and my Aunt Anne, Anne Childress Ford, she had written a book about my grandfather, about his life and about his army career. And I was able to embrace that with my aunt and meet jean Loup online from the United States and to discuss what happened to Granddaddy Ford at this time. The controversy was whether or not he was killed in action against the enemy or he was killed by his own troops. And based on the investigations that Jean Loup has, has done, I am absolutely and utterly convinced that he died an honorable death, killed in action, along with his man, at this spot in January of 1945. Jean Loup's research again discovered that the German soldiers that had found his body and the other gentleman's body, they had acquired a U.S. silver dollar. And that silver dollar made its way back to the German lines where the German commander was going to return it to Germany as a gift to his new baby girl. Unfortunately, that's where the story really ended because the gentleman that took the coin for the German officer never made it home. So I have brought a duplicate Morgan silver. This is a 1921 Morgan silver dollar. And I brought this up here so I could give it to Jean Loup so that he could carry this with him as a remembrance of everything he's done for us. The story is tragic, but seeing it and feeling it here is wonderful. I'm very proud of him. And the Puerto Ricans that he fought with, they were all honorable men, every one of them. All right, Jean Loup. I brought this coin with me today. I didn't tell you I was going to do, do no. this, but I brought this coin with me today. And I just wanted you to have a remembrance of what you've done. And I wanted to, you to know the impact that you've made. Not just on me and my wife and our family, but the German soldiers, the Puerto Rican soldiers, all of the soldiers and civilians that you wrote about in your book that allowed them to have a degree of closure that so many people would never have achieved had you not done this. And this is all you. Uh, so, in my opinion, you're a hero, and I'd like you to have this coin. Thanks a lot, Michael. And uh, it's a nice present that you're giving to me. And uh, you're an excellent man, and I appreciate it. Thank you.